Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before you go any further and realize how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, you may want to give your head a wobble. But in either case, thank you very much for coming along. I do genuinely appreciate you being here. For today's video, we are doing a very budget-friendly rank 4 spam video. And anyone who's been on the channel before knows that I do a new one of these, basically every single format with a Light Sworn engine inbuilt, and we go off from there. I fucking love Light Sworn. It's one of my all-time favorite decks. So being able to make variants of this just brings me no end of joy. Now, I will warn you in advance, if you're a Light Sworn purist, you're probably going to fucking hate it. But to be honest with you, I don't really care. I do plenty of videos out there for Light Sworn players, whether it's JD Turbo, Pure. You want a bit more of a competitive build? You want a Chaos build? Go ahead and look through the channel. You'll find a wide array of Light Sworn builds. And maybe there's one I haven't mentioned and you want to see it, reach out and let me know. Now, speaking of it being budget friendly, you can make it even more budget friendly by checking out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. If you're watching this video today and you're feeling inspired, if you check out their link in the description, you'll get yourself a cheeky discount on their eBay store, courtesy of yours truly. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Let's get stuck into the deck profile. Okay, so before we get started, let me first apologize if you can hear a whirring sound in the background. My fucking laptop fans go absolutely mental, and yeah, sometimes they get picked up, but hopefully we can edit that out when I go through that process. Now, as I alluded to earlier, if you're a purist, this is probably going to hurt your heart to see, but Light Sworn does represent an engine of many in this deck. The intention with this is to be able to spam out rank 4s as quickly as possible. We do have a few link monsters which can switch up the game and the like. Now it is worth noting again that this is a budget friendly deck. So maybe options that you want to consider if you have access to some better staples that you don't see used in this list. So we'll start off by going through the deck. So two copies of Lumina, I think two is perfectly fine. If we were running a bigger Light Sworn engine, I'd run more. Really, this is just here to get resources back onto the field and unbrick our hand a little bit. I think it's perfectly fine at two. It also means that we can keep resolving the Light Sworn spell cards, which is very desirable in this build. Triple copies of Raiden, because Raiden is the best fucking Light Sworn card that exists at the moment, outside of Minerva, at least, um, and Charge of Light Brigade, but that's besides the point. Um... Raiden is the best of the main deck monsters for Light Swarm. Let's just leave it at that. You need to run three copies in here. Absolutely important for this deck's build. Just, yeah, you need to run it. Triple copies of Wolf because milling this is insane and is worth all the disadvantage that you gain from potentially bricking on it. We then have a single copy of Lila to deal with back row. We are in a very back row heavy format. You can actually consider the Twilight Lila as well because there is a lot more back row in the game, although most of it isn't continuous, so that's why I haven't included it in this particular build. We then have a small danger package in here, just one Chupacabra because really its effect only matters if there's an existing uh, danger in the graveyard. And then, of course, we have Triple Mothman because it makes rank falls nice and easy, digs us deeper, gets Darks into the grave and all that good stuff. We then have Collapse Serpent and Wyver Burster, uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's a chaos build of sorts, rank 4 based. This, <laughs> these just do wonders for you. And much the same for Chaos Valkyria. Fantastic in this deck. It can either get you into dark or light, depending exactly what you need. And it also means we can keep resolving stuff like Chaos Space, which is how we keep our resources going round. Double copies of Goblin Berg. This could easily be up to 3, but I didn't want to go any higher on the card count than we are now. I think the 2 is perfectly fine. It's just an instant rank 4 on its own. We then have a small Nemesis package, so we have Triple Corridor, we have a single copy of Flag, and a single copy of Keystone. Keystone's here mostly because it can help you go into an Earth way of making Curious as an option that you could consider, but it also means that we can keep the engine going around. That's exactly the same for Flag, being able to just keep getting those Corridors back, and then of course Corridors are free bodies on board, as well as recycling some of your banished cards. We then have a package here of all the clowny boys. So we've got triple hat tricker, uh, just a free body on board again can help you go into curious. Much the same for damage juggler, being able to search if it's sent to the graveyard and all of that. Trick clown here again for free level four bodies on board. And thousand blades because you can revive it when your trick clown goes to grave and activates its effect. You've got an instant rank four on the field. We have a single copy of Zephyros because we can just bounce a face up card to get it onto the field if we want to, which is just has its benefits. And then a single copy of Dark Worm, of course, if this is just sat in your grave and you have nothing on board, this can help you get a free level 4 on board to go off from there. 
Then on to our spell support here. So we've got Triple Solar Recharge, just being able to dig deeper, mill cards into the grave. Charge the Light Brigade, because searching any of your Light Swarm stuff is absolutely fantastic, as you already know. And the fact that it mills for cost is wild as well. We have a single copy of Reinforcements of the Army. We run a lot of Warriors in here, so this can pretty much pick and choose exactly what you need. A single copy of Foolish Burial, because basically every card in this deck wants to be in the graveyard. And a triple copies of Chaos Space for searching our Chaos cards, and then of course being able to replenish resources and rebuild back up what we've already used. Now onto the extra deck here, so we've got a single copy of Minerva here. Just one is fine, you could run a second if you want to, uh, it's entirely up to you. In fact, this rank 4 toolbox is entirely up to yourself. For the most part, I've just gone with the ones that I think are the most useful. We've got a single copy of Digusto Emerald, just again being able to recycle and replenish resources. A single copy of Abyss Dweller, arguably the strongest rank 4 in the game that's legal, so yeah, you need to run it. A single copy of Tornado Dragon, dealing with Pesky Macro. Baguska, if you don't really see anything else and you can only make one rank 4, this can buy you a couple of turns to be able to go through your plays. Exit on Night, just board wipes are fucking broken, this card's really strong. Rajinti Tsukuyomi, this can help unbrick your hand and draw you a little bit deeper. We're then on to our links here, so we've got IP Masquerader for interrupting our opponent, usually with one of these two, Phoenix or Unicorn. We then have Curious, because it's a Light Swarm deck, we can easily make him send anything to the grave and this is busted, I'm sure I don't need to elaborate. Boral Sword is now very budget friendly and is a win button in the right scenario, so absolutely has to go in here. A single copy of Michael just for good spot removal, and of course he's a Light Swarm boy, so that benefits as well. A single copy of the Chaos Magical Dragon. This is just fucking painful choice on legs. It's just absolutely insane that this card even exists and hasn't been abused more than it already has. And then finally, Borrowload Savage Dragon, because it's Borrowload Savage Dragon. Nice and easy to make, gives you a negate if you're going first, and all of that good stuff. And that, my friends, is all for today's video. By virtue of the fact that you made it this far into the video, hopefully you have it enjoyed it enough to have hit subscribe and the notification bell, or at least hate it enough that you couldn't possibly look away. Whichever one of those categories you fall into, thank you very much for being here. Now, it is worth noting that this isn't the only kind of content we do on the channel. Whilst we do do deck profiles, we do combo tutorials, how to play videos, locals, vlogs, discussion content, all of the good stuff that you could possibly want. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on this kind of absolute hot fucking garbage in future, then definitely make sure you've hit that red button and the notification bell. It's also worth noting that I pay attention as much as possible to any comments, tweets, fucking whatever the Instagram equivalent of that is, Facebook messages, whatever. If you want to reach out and get hold of me, there are links down in the description to all of my social media channels, and you'll be able to communicate with me relatively directly. But anyway, that's enough waffling on from me. Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.